Roger, TV search right through them. And page five clear. Roger. And we're getting a picture on the TV. TV. Okay. We got a good picture, huh? Uh, there's a great deal of contrast in it, and uh, currently it's upside down on our monitor, but we can make out a fair amount of detail. Okay, we can verify the position uh, the uh, opening I ought to have on the camera. Stand by. Okay, Neil, we can see you coming down the ladder now. Okay, I just checked uh, getting back up to that first step. Uh, it's uh, not even collapsed too far, but uh, it's adequate to get back up. Roger, we copy. That's a pretty good little jump. Buzz, this is Houston, F2, 1 1 60th second for shadow photography on the sequence camera. Okay. Um, uh, at the foot of the ladder, the lamb foot beds are only uh, uh, depressed in the surface about uh, one or two inches, uh, although the surface appears to be uh, very very fine-grained as you get close to it. It's almost like a powder. Ground mass uh, is very fine. Now I'm going to step off the lamp now. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. As the uh, surface is fine and powdery, I can I can pick it up loosely with my toe. It does adhere to in fine layers, uh, like uh, powdered charcoal, to the uh, to the sole and sides of my boot. I only go in a uh, small fraction of an inch, maybe an eighth of an inch, but I can see the footprints of my uh, boots and the treads and the fine sandy particles. Hey, yeah, this is Houston. We're copying. Um, there seems to be no difficulty in moving around as, as we suspected. Uh, it's even perhaps easier than the simulations of 160 that uh, we performed uh, in various simulations on the ground. Absolutely no trouble to uh, walk around. Okay, the uh, ESAN engine did not leave a crater of any size. It's uh, has about one foot clearance on the ground. We're uh, essentially on a very level place here. Uh, I can see uh, some evidence of, uh, of rays emanating from the descent engine, but uh, very insignificant amount. Neil, uh, this 
Texas Houston, they were getting a picture. You're not in at the present time. We can see the bag on the LEC being moved by Buzz, though. Here you come into our field of view. Oh, okay. Let me move that over the edge uh, for you. Okay, you ready for me to come out? Yeah, just stand by a second. I'll move this over the handrail. The backup camera is uh Okay, your press is looks like it's clear and okay. Your toes are about to come over the seal. Okay, now drop your press down. There you go, you're clear. And laterally you're good. Got an inch clearance on stop your press. Okay, you need a little bit of uh, arching of the back to come down. How far are my feet from here? Okay, you're right at the edge of the porch. Okay. Back in from... A little uh, foot movement. Porch. We're arching of the back. Moment comes up and clears the... Uh, all good without any trouble at all. Looks good. Forty-five minutes PLSS time expended. Neil, this is Houston. Based on your camera transfer with the LEC, do you foresee any difficulties in SRC transfer over? Negative. That's the sample return containers, the rock boxes that Capcom... Now I want to uh, back up and partially close that. Magnificent sight out here. 
magnificent desolation. Both PLSS is nominal on consumables. Looks like the uh, secondary strut uh, had little thermal effects on it right here, Neil. Yeah, I, I noticed that. That seems to be the, the worst, although similar effects are on uh, all around. Powder is very, very fine powder, isn't it? Fine. Right in this area, I don't think there's much of any fine powder. Sometimes clouds together, and it's hard to tell whether it's a cloud or a rock. Notice how you can pick it out. Yeah, and it bounces and then. Okay, Houston, tell me you get a new picture. Neil, this is Houston. That's affirmative. We're getting a new picture. You can tell it's a longer focal length lens. And for your information, all LEM systems are go. Over. We appreciate that. Thank you. We've got you bore sided, but uh, back to one got side. For those who haven't uh, read the plaque, uh, we'll read the plaque that's on the front landing gear of this lamb. There's, there's two hemispheres, one showing each of the two hemispheres of Earth. Underneath it says, Here men from the planet Earth first set foot upon the moon, July 1969, E.T. He came in peace for all mankind. It has the, the crew members' signatures and the signature of the President of the United States. Good, you're uh, 
Roger, and we see Buzz going about his work. How's that for a final... Uh, uh, for a final orientation, we'd like it to come left about uh, five degrees, over. Uh, back to the right about half as much. Okay. Okay, that looks good there, Neil. Yeah, that looks good there, Neil. Okay. One hour, seven minutes time expended. Okay, you can make a mark, Houston. Roger, four one. Buzz is erecting the solar wind experiment now. Some of these uh, small depressions are uh, soft and you tend to think oh, maybe two or three inches. I can suggest exactly what the uh, Layer picture showed when they uh, pushed away a little bit. You can see uh, force transmitted through the upper surface of the soil in about five or six inches of bay. It uh, breaks loose and uh, moves as if it uh, were caked on the surface when in fact it really isn't. I, I noticed in the soft spots where we have footprints uh, nearly an inch deep that the soil is very cohesive. And it will retain a uh, will retain a uh, slope of probably 70 degrees uh, on the side of the footprint. Columbia, Columbia, this is Houston, AOS, over. Neil Armstrong has been on the lunar surface now almost 45 minutes. Columbia, this is Houston reading you loud and clear, over. Yeah, this is Houston reading. Yeah, reading you loud and clear, how's it going? Roger, the EVA is progressing beautifully. Uh, I believe they're setting up the flag now. Great. 
I guess you're about the only person around that doesn't have TV coverage of the scene. That's alright, I don't mind a bit. How is the quality of the TV? Oh, it's beautiful, Mike, it really is. Oh, geez, that's great. Is the lighting halfway decent? Yes, indeed. They've got the flag up now, and you can see the stars and stripes on the lunar surface. Beautiful, just beautiful. See if you can pull that end off a little bit. Fade that end up a little Neil, this is Houston, radio check over. Hi, Roger, Houston, loud and clear. Roger out. Loud and clear, Houston. Roger, Buzz. I'd like to evaluate the uh, various paces that a person can traveling on the surface. I believe I'm out of your field of view. Is that right now, Houston? That's affirmative, Buzz. You're in our field of view now. You do have to be... All right, you do have to be uh, rather careful uh, to keep track of where your center of mass is. Sometimes it takes about two or three paces to uh, make sure that uh, you've got your feet underneath you. And about two or three or maybe four easy paces can bring you to a fairly smooth uh, stop. Kangaroo hop does work, but it seems oh, your forward ability is not. 
not quite as good as it is in the conventional, more conventional, uh, one foot after another. Uh, Tranquility Base, this is Houston. Can we get both of you on the camera for a minute, please? Say again, Houston. Uh, Roger, we'd like to get both of you on the field of view of the camera for a minute. Uh, Neil and Buzz, uh, the President of the United States is in his office now and would like to say a few words to you. Over. That would be an honor. Uh, go ahead, Mr. President. This is Houston out. Hello, Neil and Buzz. I'm talking to you by telephone from the Oval Room at the White House. And this certainly has to be the most historic telephone call ever made. Uh, I just can't tell you how proud we all are of what you see. For every American, this has to be the proudest day of our lives. And for people all over the world, I am sure they too join with the in recognizing what an immense feat this is. Because of what you have done, the heavens have become a part of man's world. And as you talk to us from the sea of tranquility, it inspires us to redouble our efforts to bring peace and tranquility to Earth. For one priceless moment in the whole history of man, all the people on this Earth are truly one. One in their pride in what you have done and one in our prayers that you will return safely to Earth. Thank you, Mr. President. It's a great honor and privilege for us to be here representing not only the United States, but men of peace of all nations, men with interest and a curiosity and and with the vision for the future. Uh, honor for us to be able to participate here today. And thank you very much, and I look forward, all of us look forward to seeing you on the Hornet on Thursday. Look forward to that very much, sir. I've got a P-22 auto optics pad, auto optics pad for you. Roger, go ahead. Roger, P-22, landmark ID, LEM, T-1-110-26-5. T-2. One one zero three two zero six three miles south. Time of closest approach one one zero three three four zero. Shaft three five three decimal eight five five. Trunnion four six. Decimal four nine or five. Roll zero. Pitch two five zero. Yaw zero. Over. All right, you back. You're back. Not required. 
Roger out. Uh, Houston, it's very interesting to note that when I uh, kick my foot, this trail with, uh, with uh, no atmosphere here and it's gravity. They seem to leave, and uh, most of them have about the same angle of departure and velocity. This is where I stand, the large portion of them will, will uh, impact at a certain distance out. Uh, several uh, uh, percentage, of course, that, uh, that will uh, impact different regions out, but it's, so it's highly dependent upon yeah. Initial trajectory upwards determines where most of the authority of the uh, particle comes down, like the terrain. Uh, Roger, Buzz, and Break Break Columbia. This is Houston. When you track out of high gain antenna limits, request Omni Delta. Omni Delta, over. I've noticed several times in going from the uh, uh, sunlight into the shadow that just as I go in, I catch an additional uh, reflection off the lamp, uh, along with the reflection off my face onto the visor, makes visibility very poor just at the uh, transition sunlight into the shadow. I uh, essentially have so much glare coming onto my visor, I'm on shadow, so uh, the helmet actually gets shadow, and then it takes a short while for my eyes to adapt to uh, the lighting condition. Inside the uh, shadow area, yeah, visibility, as we said before, is not too great, but uh, both visors up. Uh, we can certainly get what sort of footprints we have and the minimal uh, condition of the soil. And after being out in the sunlight mile, it takes, uh, I'm not watching Neil, Neil, you're on the cable. Okay. Yeah, lift okay. up your right foot. Right foot. Uh, it's still, your toe is still hooked in it. That one? Yeah, it's still hooked in it. I'm in. Okay, you're clear now. Thank you. Uh, let's, uh, let's move that over this way. Neil Armstrong has the scoop for the bulk sample collection. That's Neil Armstrong to the left of the screen. By that Doors are closed and locked. Roger. Roger. Hey, have you got us a good area picked out? Well, I think right out on that rise out there is probably as good as any. Stay on the high ground there and uh, watch it. The edge of that crater is. Yeah, that's real soft there, isn't it? And a couple of close ups yeah. on these uh, quite rounded, large boulders. Buzz Aldrin coming into view on the right, carrying the two experiments. About 40 feet out, I'd say out to the end of that next... Uh, now it's going to be a little difficult to find a good level spot here. i top that next little ridge there, isn't it? wouldn't that be a pretty good place? Cube right about here. All right. 
And they will be out of their camera's field of view while setting up these experiments. In the foreground, Buzz Aldrin is collecting a core tube sample. I hope you're watching uh, how hard I have to hit this into the ground uh, to the tune of about five inches, Houston. Roger. Okay, can you quickly stick this in my pocket now and I'll head on up the ladder. That white dot right above the horizon on the right is a phosphorus spot from the TV converter in the park station in Australia.
get the solar wind real fast? Yeah, it should be good. Okay. Okay. Okay, that's got it clear. Transferring the sample containers into the limb cabin now. Uh-oh. Hammer came off. Maybe not film that came off. The Lick Observatory in California reports a return on the laser experiment. Hey, and Bugs, for your information, your consumables remain in good shape. Out. 
Roger. That's coming, Neil. Okay, I've got uh, one side hooked up for the second box, and I got the field side on. Okay, good. Well, that's good, huh? Okay, that's good. It looks like down here. Now, I think my watch stopped, Neil. Hit it. Okay, if you can just kind of hold it, but I think I can uh, do the pulling. Okay. Stand by a minute. Let me move back. Okay, I'll get it the rest of the way. Okay. And I'll give it to you to uh, go away just a second. And a little more. Two hours, 40 minutes on the PLSS. Neil, this is Houston. Did you get the Hasselblad magazine? Yes, I did. And we got about, uh, I'd say, 20 pounds of uh, carefully selected, if not documented, samples. Houston, Roger, well done, huh? It's the second box. Unofficial time off the surface at 111.37.32. Oh, now start arching your back. That's good. Plenty of room. Yeah, all right, arch your back a little, your head's up again. Out, off, roll, right, just a little bit. Okay, no. And in good shape. Thank you. I bump it now. Now you're clear, you're rubbing up against me a little bit. Okay. Turn right, that's right. Turn to left. Okay. Now move your foot on 
hundred badge. 